Hello and welcome to Super Great Kids Stories, wise tales from storytellers around the world which will make you laugh and sometimes cry. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Hello Super Great Kids and how are you? My reason to be cheerful this week is that our friend Charlie has finished making a second Super Great Kids colouring book. Hurrah! It includes pictures of the ghost of the bloody finger, stick woman and Baba Yaga. You can find more information on our website at supergreatkidsstories.com or search on Amazon. Look for Super Great Kids Colouring Book 2 and make sure it's number two if you've already got the first one. Our story this week is a Korean folktale. Korea is a beautiful country in East Asia near China. The storyteller is Seth Townsend, who's travelled around the world telling stories. The story is called The Man, the Tiger and the Rabbit. In Korea long ago, they used to have tigers. But sadly, today, it's believed that there are none left because in the past, they were highly prized by hunters. Now, just before we begin our tale, can you think which is your favourite Super Great Kids story which has a big animal in it? While we have a quick word with the grown-ups. Are you ready? Off you go. Hello, Super Great Kids. I'm back. I wonder which is your favourite story with a big animal in it. One of my favourites is How the Whale Got Its Sad Song. Or, or How the Elephant Got Its Trunk. Or Lion, Vulture and Hyena. Or, or The Four Dragons. Or The Boy Who Lived With Bears. Oh, and of course, there's Stick Woman. It's so difficult to choose. Big animals make very good stories. Now, back to our Korean tale about a tiger. One way to start a story in Korea is back in the day when tigers smoked pipes. I just love that. Are you sitting comfortably? Am I sitting comfortably? Then let's give a warm welcome to Seth Townsend. Hello, my name is Seth. And today, I've got a story from Korea. Now, in Korea, if you want to say hello to somebody, you say, 안녕하세요. Can you say that? I'm going to say it again. 안녕하세요. And if you want to say, how are you? You say, 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? And I want you to listen out to see if those words come up in the story. And here's the story. One day, a man was walking through the forest and he heard... What was that? Let me out, please, help, please, help! And he looked, and in front of him, what did he see? He saw a pit, a hole, a big, big hole in the ground, a pit in the ground. And inside that pit in the ground, there was a tiger. And the tiger was saying, oh, oh, let me out, please, please, let me out. Oh, oh. Tiger, I'd love to let you out, but you are a tiger, uh, and I'm a man, and if I let you out, I think you're going to eat me. Oh, no, no, eat you? If you let me out, I wouldn't eat you. I wouldn't eat you. Are you sure of that? Oh, please, look, I'm in this, in this hole in the ground. Oh, please, let me out. I promise I won't eat you. 
but how could he let him out? So he looked around. What can I do? What? And then he saw a very, very, very long branch lying on the ground. And so he picked up that long branch and he put that branch into the pit and he said, Tiger, with your claws, you can walk up that branch and you will be free. And that is what the tiger did. With his claws, he scratched his way to the top and he got out of that big hole in the ground. And what do you think he did? He opened his mouth, ready to eat the kind man who had saved him. <gasps> no, you can't. You said you wouldn't. You said you wouldn't eat me. But I wasn't hungry then. And now I am so hungry. I've got to eat you. I've got to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, said the man. Look, let me ask that tree if he thinks it's right that you should eat me when you said you wouldn't eat me. Tree, 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 please help us. Tiger says he's going to eat me. But Tiger promised he wouldn't eat me because I let him out of the hole in the ground. And the tree just moved a little branch this way and moved a little branch that way and said, I don't know what you think I should say, but wait a minute. You humans, you cut off our branches when you want to make tables and chairs. You take everything from us, all our leaves you take away to make something for your garden. I don't know what it is. And then when all our branches and our leaves are gone, you cut us down to build houses. Do I care whether this tiger eats you? Tiger, eat him. I don't care. Oh, no, no, said the man, you can't possibly eat me. You promised you would not eat me. And just at that moment, a big bull with bull's horns came walking along. A bull, 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 please help me. Oh, what can I help you with? Well, listen, listen, you see, this tiger... I saved his life. I took him out of this big hole, and he said he wouldn't eat me, but now he wants to eat me. Is that right that he should eat me after I saved his life? Well, wait a minute. You humans take all of my wife's milk until she's got no milk left for our little calves. You're not very good to us, so, Tiger, I think you should eat him. And Tiger once more opened his mouth. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And just at that moment, hoppity, hoppity, hop, hoppity, hoppity, hop, hoppity, 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 hop, there came a fluffy little rabbit. And the rabbit said, Annyeonghaseyo, otokechinaseyo. Otto Kechinaseo, how am I? How am I? I'm not very well, and I'll tell you why I'm not very well, Rabbit. This tiger said he's going to eat me, but I saved his life, and he promised he wouldn't eat me. Do you think you can help? Is that right that he should eat me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a, wait a minute, said the rabbit. Now, I need to understand the story a little bit better. So, tell me, what exactly happened? Well, said the man, you see, Tiger was in the pit, and he said he wouldn't eat me, and I put this long, 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 long branch into the pit so he could clamber up, and then he opened his mouth, and he said he was going to eat me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a, wait a, wait a minute, said the rabbit. I don't quite understand. Could you show me exactly what happened? Tiger, tiger, where were you? I was in the pit. Well, can you show me? Can you show me? said the rabbit. Yes. So tiger jumped into the pit and then 
Rabbit said, Now, nah, OK, you were in the pit, but was that long branch in the pit? No, no, said the tiger. Oh, well, maybe we should take it out. So the man pulled the branch out of the pit, and the rabbit said, now, is this how it was when you came along, a uh, human person? Yes, just as it was, said the man. And what was happening when you came along? Well, Tiger was in the pit, said the man. What were you doing, Tiger? Well, I was saying, let me out, let me out, let me out. Then what happened? Oh, said the man. I said, I will let you out if you promise not to eat me. Well, you see said the rabbit. I think that if you look where you are now, tiger, you're in the pit, and human person, you're up here, and at this point there was no problem, was there, about eating you or not eating you? Um, no, no, there wasn't, said the man. Well, then, since there was no problem, I think you'd better walk on your way, Mr. Human, and tiger, I'm sorry, but you should stay right there in the pit, because you don't keep your promise. Annyeonghaseyo! Annyeonghaseyo! Bye! And that's what happened. Hoppity hoppity hop! Hoppity hoppity hop! Hoppity 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 hop! Annyeonghaseyo! Oh, thank you very much to Seth Townsend for sharing the Korean version of that story. Phew! Thank goodness that rabbit came along. Would you trust a tiger? I'm not sure that I would, though I do think they're incredibly beautiful animals. Did you know that on average a tiger weighs 450 pounds, which is about the same weight as eight ten-year-old children? And did you know that tiger's teeth are four inches long? <gasps> More tiger facts in our Owlet Letter for subscribers this week. Ooh, and if you like stories about tigers, you might like to check out Ted the Tiger Tamer. It's about a little boy who gets very cross when things aren't fair. Now, one of the best bits about making this podcast is hearing from you. And lots of you have been inspiring us with your reviews and pictures. So it's time to dig deep into our bag of happies and say some big thank yous to some of you who've been sending in drawings of our stories. Thanks first to some new owlets who've been fluttering into our nest. And welcome to new owlet Evie, who is seven from Somerset West in South Africa. Evie especially loves the stories told by Kate Corkery and Toop. Hope you're enjoying the bonus stories, Evie. And over to Sundry in Alberta in Canada. And hoo -hoo 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 to Wiley Pine, who is eight, Fenwyn Yarrow, who is five, and Otis Blue, who is two. They especially love the spooky stories, like the ghost of the bloody finger and the big hairy toe. Welcome to our nest. I hope you're enjoying all the subscriber spooky stories now too. And, and hello to Tolly, who is eight, and Azzy, who is four, who live in Spokane in Washington in the US. Their favourites are the Anansi stories, especially the ones with Toop. Lovely, thank you. And hoo 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 to New Owlets Charlie, who is nine, and Colby, who is four. They're from Raleigh in North Carolina in the US. And hoo 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 to New Owlets from Tennessee, Rudy, who is seven, and Margot, who is four and a half. And over to Durango now in Colorado in the US. And hoo 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 hoo. And hello and welcome to new outlets Kaya, who is six, and Jacoby, who is four. 
They especially like the ram in the chili patch story from Mexico. And a very big thanks to all of you who are supporting us on Apple and Patreon. We rely on your donations and subscriptions to keep producing Super Great Kids stories and to pay our storytellers. If you'd like to support us, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts or on Patreon, which you'll find on our website at supergreatkidsstories.com. There are nearly 50 bonus stories waiting to be listened to. And now, you are all so good at drawing, it's very hard to choose. But here are my picture picks for this week. Thanks to Chloe, who is seven, who has drawn a fabulous brightly coloured chicken. Inspired by the funny story told by Baden, No Way Jose. Chloe and her sister live in Iowa in the US. Thanks for sharing your picture, Chloe. I really like the fat caterpillar, the grasshopper, the juicy worm, the red berries and the man with the big stick peering over the bushes. Just brilliant. And new owlet Graham from Utah has been doing lots of drawing and sharing his pictures with us. I really like your picture inspired by the Baba Yaga story with the hut with chicken legs and the glowing skulls and Baba Yaga with her extremely long nose. You might want to check out our Baba Yaga picture in our new colouring book, Graham. And thanks to Masha, who is six, from Lisbon in Portugal, who sent us many beautiful pictures which she's drawn in her notebook. I think, Masha, that of all the drawings you've sent us, my favourite is the one inspired by the bonus subscriber story from Tanzania, Adi and the Zimwi. Because I love your ogre smiling and playing the drum and you can see poor Addy hidden away inside the drum. Just super great. Thank you. It's a cracking story, isn't it? And thanks to super great artist Atticus, who is five and lives in Grass Valley in California, who's painted a super scary and imaginative picture of Baba Yaga and the ghost of the bloody finger. We really like all the dark, spooky colours which you've used, which makes the dripping blood stand out really well. And thanks to all of you who sent in pictures. If you'd like to see these pictures, then go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash stories. That's it for this week. Bye for now. Oh, and remember to look out for our new colouring book too on Amazon. It's available now. To buy it, visit our website, supergreatkidsstories.com or search on Amazon for Super Great Kids Colouring Book 2. This podcast was produced at Wardour Studios in London.